Uh, now, my next guest is an award-winning actress whose groundbreaking role in Scandal brought her global fame. Now, Kerry Washington has written a candid new book, Thicker Than Water, which uncovers a family secret that changed her life. And Kerry joins me now. Morning to you. Good morning. And gosh, oh. what a book it is. Oh, thank it's, you for having me on. It's and thank you for reading it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautifully written. Um, it really is. And it starts with not quite the revelation, but the introduction of what something serious is going to happen that you found out yes. about yourself. Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it, because it's not a secret now, but it That's was. That's true. Um, so if you don't want to know the reveal, you can pause watching now. Y no, don't um, do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I found out a handful of years ago, about five, six years ago, my parents sat me down and shared with me that my beloved dad is not my biological father, that I was conceived with the help of a sperm donor, which was, I mean, I had no idea yeah. before they told me. And it's been a real journey for our family, like a, a journey into truth and also a journey into me kind of discovering more about who I am and how I've become this person. And I think that's part of what the exercise was in writing the memoir. And it was, you were over 40 when you found I was, out. I yeah. And there was a particular reason because you were going on a program and they were yes. sort of had to tell you, didn't yes, they? Yes, there's a show in the States called Finding Your Roots. And on the show, they look at census records and you know public documents, but they also do DNA testing. Mm -hmm. And I had, I thought, made this wonderful decision to do this show and provide my parents with a lot more information about who we are and where we come from. And then when they sent us the DNA testing, my parents suddenly became very shaky and they say, were very resistant. Possibly. Yes, yeah. anxious is a great word. Yeah, and but they they had to tell you at that point, they didn't did. they? They did. Well, they didn't have to, but they, right. they, they were planning to take the secret to their grave. Um, so I'm really grateful that they did seize the opportunity to mm -hmm. share this information with me. I think they were afraid that me having this information would estrange us as a family, that we would, that I would be too angry or that we just wouldn't be the family we had been. And we're not the family that we'd been, but we are, I think, and they do too, so much closer now. That's what really comes across in the book is the deep love you have for your yeah. parents and actually how truth has sort of helped that. It's really provided us with much more emotional safety in the relationship and much more intimacy and, um, it's really exciting to be able to share that journey with audiences because so often I think you can either love someone or be in truth. We've set up a strange cultural dynamic where in order to love and be loved, we have to wear masks and sort of parade as somebody that we think the world wants us to be. But in our family, we've experienced the opposite in these last few years, that in our truth, we've really become closer. You had a feeling about things being, I don't know, slightly different, didn't you? I From know. very early on in your life. It's funny because now I've become part of this community of donor conceived people. And I think people who are adopted and not told also have a similar experience of feeling like there's something happening in the home. I didn't know what I didn't know, but I knew there was something. There was some sort of emotional distance or a, a veil between my parents and I. And so having this information also lifted that veil. It meant we weren't keeping secrets from each other anymore. And that has provided this really beautiful safety and closeness and, um, yeah. And in some ways acting helps you through that actually yeah. in a big, big way, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Cause I think growing up, I had this sense of, I don't know, I thought maybe the emotional distance was my fault, which I think a lot of kids do, right? We blame ourselves when we feel like something's off. And so I thought I, I need to, I never felt comfortable in my own skin. Mm -hmm. So often when I was acting, I was kind of searching for myself in these characters, you know, looking to take on personalities that felt more right looking for a way to feel more at home in my own life and in my own body. And Scandal was part of that. Yes, 100%. <laughs> I mean, how I've been so blessed to play such amazing women who've taught me so much. I feel like every character has sort of been a mentor for me, mm -hmm. leading me closer and closer to my truth throughout my life. Um, so it's wonderful actually to now be able to give myself as Carrie some of the same kind of dedication and commitment that I've given these characters to ask myself, who am I and where do I come from and what do I think and feel and want? Because I could tell you that for Olivia Pope for years. Tell me who's your favorite character. Was it like choosing oh, between I children? Can't, I, can't, I can't, they are, they're like children. They're so, each character has, 
changed me in yeah. really profound ways. So I can't choose, I really can't. It's usually the one that I'm doing currently that I love the most. It's yeah. kind of, but they're all so special. You've got some brilliant, as you would, uh, because you are the height of showbiz in Hollywood, some brilliant connections. J-Lo taught you how to dance, is yeah. that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> J-Lo and I went to the same boys and girls club growing up in the States, in the Bronx. We grew up in the same neighborhood and she was one of the big girls. So we had a dance teacher, beloved teacher, Larry, who fell ill and, and she stepped in to teach some classes to the littles and I was really lucky to oh. be one of those girls. And we've remained in touch through the years. She's always been massively supportive. And I know uh, Gwyneth Paltrow was at that another school as well. Yes, that... where I went to school, yes. Um, tell me also, because I'm a swimmer, I love open water oh, swimming. Yes, and I that's very so much, much part about of the book, swimming. isn't it? Yes. Tell yes. me about that. It's just, you know, I noticed when I started to track this story of my life and the story of my parents' lives and our history as a family, that water is the thing that centers mm -hmm. us. It's the place where we are closest, where we have found the most peace with each other. So many of our memories, my memories of us as a family, center around pools and lakes and the ocean. So I realize that it's such a big part of who we are, even on Scandal, that Olivia Pope swam. I know, because they, yeah. they because of you, is that right? Yes, yes. They, the writers asked me if I had any sports or hobbies that I really loved. And I said, well, I was on the swim team in high school. And then a few weeks later, <laughs> I read a script and the president said, well, she was on the swim team in high school. And then I was swimming on the show. And obviously, I want to say that because we're in the midst of an actor strike, that yes. um, no one should go watch episodes of the show now. We're not supporting anybody watching struck work. But once we have yeah. a new contract and deal, you can watch as much as you want. OK, well, that's yes. a really important message as <laughs> yes. well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, listen, it's so lovely to meet you. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. And the book is got a great title. Carrie's book, Thicker Than Water, is out right now. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>